Yo, what's up, everybody? What is up? What up? Let's go to camera two. Camera two in the house. What's up? Yo, we are back. Epic Quest Random Adventures here on Twitch. Hot damn it. I am Brad Mutant 13. And I am Hoy Sensation. What up? And uh, a, a great big huzzah to the inner circle. Huzzah! Huzzah! To all the inner circle members out there <laughs> tuning in on this lovely Sunday, the last Sunday of the month, which is always time to get epic here on Twitch. That's right. Yeah. Bam, let's go to the wide shot. Look at that. Look at this studio set up today. A lot to be seen. Yeah, we got some new stuff hanging on the walls. Some gifts that were given from inner circle members. Where? At the Return to Reality. Here event. in Knoxville, Tennessee. That's right. At the Secret Castle location, which we're still not going to disclose that secret location. Only those that were there That's right. will ever know where it was and how fresh it was. Well, I don't know. A lot of people saw the photos, so they could probably <laughs> figure it out pretty easy. So, you know, that could always happen. So... Yeah, and boy, was a good time had by all. Holy moly. Wow. So much fun. So much. I mean, that is literally the definition of epic, I think. Absolutely. Epic is the only way to describe what was happening there. So, man. That that far exceeded my expectations. Mine too. And far. I helped plan a hell of a lot of that event and put in a ton of work and wow let me tell you i was i was devastated how awesomely fresh everything was and how how much of uh, positivity came from the inner circle members a lot of positivity a lot of energy a lot of karma and there was just yes the, magic that's all, <laughs> pure that's all magic that's yeah that's the only thing you can say so uh, let's do a quick rundown. We gotta give we gotta give some shout outs to some people. Word. Oh, you know, yeah. we're, we're just gonna go down the list real quick, and 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 just start from uh, Kirk, of uh, Rich, which is Dak, our homie Dak. Man, thank you. He was a, a big baller nacho supporter at the symposium. Yep. Um, uh, our good friend Alberto Enzo, or. No face or junkhead or AKA, the AKA, AKA, AKA. the man of many <laughs> many mother effing names. Thank you. He was mega supporter too. He also helped support and uh, without without him and the big baller nachos people. Of uh, I mean, he threw in some extra too on top of being a big baller nacho symposium guy. Yeah. So props to him. He's uh, he's got as many tactics as he does names. Oh my God! Yes, he does. <laughs> so, of uh, of uh, Kent Vale, which is Cyrell, homie over on the Discord channel. If you're not on the Morton's yeah, List you? Discord, go check it out right now. It's so, popping. It is. So that is the freshest place to keep. And after this event. Holy crap! the The Morton's List Discord is the the place to chat and and meet people. It's going on all day, every day. Of uh, our our old school homie of of uh, David Tamargo, which is Alligator Jesus That's for right. yep. for dropping support, and he just dropped ducats, just dropped money to support the event. Not an attendee, but a big supporter. Big supporter, thank you. And of uh, <laughs> then we have Mike. Who was big up Baller Nacho with his buddy Jarrett? Yeah, who drove down from Michigan. So what up to you, homies? Uh, I, I don't know if they're here on Twitch today. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Sorry. Uh, while, while I'm doing this, I've got a screen pulled up. I can't read any of my of the stuff that's going down on the chat on Twitch. So oh, let's see. Let me flip over. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are we having technical difficulties? Yeah, we're having technical difficulties. What is the problem? It says we only have audio, so... Audio and no video. Uh-oh. Well, that's a that's not a bad thing, per se. All right. Uh, right now, to people that are watching, do we... Is there any audio? I mean, video? No, it says... Okay, it says, no, no, you're good. So, we do have both right now, right? Okay. One and two. We got this. How about this? Do you see this? Do you see camera two? 
All right. Yeah. So, okay. We're good. We're good. Lucky Bandit says, all goods. Wonderful. All right. All right. So, let's see here. Mr. Jerry Terrifying was in the house, and he threw down and uh, was part of the big baller. He was the table master. Yeah, pretty the, much. Yeah. For the big baller nacho symposium. Sat so at the head of the table. Head yeah. of the table. So, and then we had uh, our friend Jessica Wiseman. Thank she you. she donated and thank you very much thank for you, your support you. of Grant Easton, which is knows this guy a little bit. I mean, yeah, a little bit. Of, yeah, kind of know each other. I know him I a little him bit. I see him sometimes. Yeah, but no, Grant. Thank you very much. Uh, our friend Stephanie Holcomb threw down and came out and supported. What up, Cole Mama? Yeah. So throwing it down, uh, Julie. Of Shu Zaran, sorry, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I butcher last name. I butcher first. I, name. I, yeah, I, I, I butcher can't, names. I can't I've been read. Trying to figure that one out all week because I've been so, following her on. But Facebook. yeah, she's awesome. Yes. She came down and she, she was absolute pleasure and brought a uh, a friend with her. Adam yep. came down, so they were both on the big baller nacho symposium. Uh, our buddy Robert, call him Robert No Shoes, Barefoot Robert. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was my dog, man. Yeah. He was my homie. So, <laughs> and uh, his friend uh, Amy came as well, and new friends there. New, uh, you, you don't understand how close this group of strangers got in, in three short days was nothing but pure magic. And for some people, it was just the two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rob. Uh, Hatchet Rob was there with Andrea, who is Fat Satan, who does a lot of the dead canvas. We, we're we're we got oh, artwork man. up here. We got it up here on the wall. We got the Michael Myers and the Carrie. So and I even got a dope. little frame for she gave me a little watercolor painting that she did. So you'll see a lot of the gifts kind of laying up here that we we're given from Inner Circle members and stuff. So, um, you know, thank you all for the gifts. Yeah, absolutely, uh, yeah. Then we got Stefan and... Danny, Daniel, so Stefan, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Stefan and Daniel. Yep. Holy moly, real quick about these two guys. This is, a, yeah, you guys got to hear this. Yeah, th this story. of They just saw the random commercial because it ran on ICP Network on their Twitch channel. And they just saw it there. And they just said something about, I don't know, the video, the my voiceover resonated with their soul. And they're like, we cannot miss this. They bought Big Baller Nacho tickets, came down, and on a whim, and, and it really didn't know anything about Morton's List or uh -huh. anything. It's just like, you know, it, it just kind of spoke to them and resonated deep, deep within their soul. And, wow, it's like those two guys... <sighs> I, you don't understand how amazing it was to meet those two fine gentlemen. That yeah, holy crap! I I have nothing but love for those two guys, and wow, they I, they was, did whatever it took to be at that event. They did, and, and for something that they didn't even know about, and they just felt drawn. Yes, and <laughs> and just came in and was a part of it, and just. I think they walked away with like twenty something brand new best friends. Damn right, and. I didn't know them. They showed up. And I'm like, who are these guys? Never, because a lot of the people I'd seen before were on social medias with, kind of knew a little bit, but not these two gentlemen. Complete strangers. It was absolute magic. Which I think is funny because I I was like, when we were talking about submitting that commercial into the ICP network thing, so it would get ran. I was like, what's the point? Anyone that's coming already knows about it. No one's just gonna see that and be like, I don't know what Martin's list is, but I'm gonna go to Knoxville for an event. Well. Pfft. Well, was I fucking wrong? I ate crow that day. Yeah, because holy <laughs> crap, these two guys showed up out of the blue and it, well, okay, uh, God, we're the freshest, all right. Let, the let's get through this list. Karma. All right, I'm gonna yeah, run through this sorry. list real quick. We got to run through this list. Holy crap! Of uh, William McClure, um, he was a supporter at the thirteen dollar tier. Thank you very much, Sarah Deckard. She came down. She was part of the inner circle for the for the weekend on the uh, the uh, two day or yeah two days of freshness yeah. um uh, jose thank you for sporting but just didn't show up but yeah. hey thank you jose jeremiah owens scotty balls brent barber uh anthony mangia uh clayton uh 
Budlinger? I don't know how to say his name, but I'm Clayton. I know who you are, buddy. You know, he's he's Watson's son. Yeah. So, yeah. We've known Clayton since he was knee high to a grasshopper. Sean Ostertag, Lucky Bandit, Ryan Hoy bought a ticket, whoever that guy is. Uh, David McGee threw down 150 bucks on it. and Thank you, buddy. Thank you, David. I mean, it's one of my homies that we play Dungeons and Dragons with. He just he didn't show up, couldn't make it because he works like a madman for FedEx. He just wanted to support, and our just wanted to support. Event. And holy crap, every little donation, big donation, helped out this event. So thank you very much, um, Daniel Norman, which was old member of the Inner Circle. Yeah, he showed up and brought a guest with him, his girlfriend, which I can't remember her name, but. Awesome to meet her. Fucking props. Michael Strange, homie. Another person that he came out. He got to come out for one thing. He he works his ass off. Mm-hmm. Hard working dude. You got a lot of responsibilities, but he supported. Thank you for your support because it, it made the whole thing go over awesomely. So uh we'll see here. Jason Smith threw down. Uh Traders Crip. Craig Elm threw down. C D, don't know who that is. Uh, here's another big donation from our, our friend Otrebla. So, what up, homie? Uh, Dominic Cambria, thank you. Dan, uh, Adam, our buddy Adam from down in uh, Florida. Thank you, Adam, for throwing in. Even though he couldn't make it, he really threw down. And uh, John Morris. So, bam, real quick. Hey. Thank each and every one of you fine folks for helping make this event happen and go down. Whoa. So and here while we go. you check the chat, I just want to tell everybody <clears throat> that all everyone that attended, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed spending time with everybody. And I just wanted to apologize for not being able to be there on Saturday. I was a little under the weather to say the least. And, uh, <laughs> I just, I I really, I'm so sorry I couldn't be there that last day. It sounded awesome. There was, it sounded like you could feel the magic in the air. So, but I'm glad everyone had a great time. It's weird. There's a lot of numbers and things that happened at this event. It sounded a little serendipitous. The very last portion of the, the last night, the last quest, there were 17 people there. Well, I mean, we all know we're, we're jugg- most of us are juggalos and stuff. We're in the ICP thing, which is 17. Yeah. It's a very magical number. So 17 people partook in the final quest, which ended up being, we'll get into the whole breakdown here in just a minute, but the last quest, the grand finale took place at a place called main event. So the main event, the main yeah. event of the yeah. evening and, you know, and, and all that. So we'll get into that. So, um, yeah, we got a lot of yeah, shit. Yeah, we'll break to talk everything about. down day to day. Yeah. Just went, had yeah. to get a couple things. Yeah, I had to mention some first. stuff and touch. And let's let's go through the chat real quick. Let's see your true Morton nature in your face like a sports ball. That's right. Julie <sighs> gave us this sports ball. And you forgot the other sports ball. I forgot ball the other one. Dude, I ain't, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie. This when when awesome. Dak handed me that sports ball, there was a part of me that just wanted to explode with tears right there like a sports ball like i cried you watched our stuff and you thought of that and you brought uh, uh, I, I cried. Was like, hold it together hoy this is just the symposium you got two more days <laughs> i i got a but, gift yeah. from robert it's it's here underneath this first of all he gave it to me in this this little covering that it's in let me just pick it up i'm trying not to reveal it all right here we go i'll put it back here oh, you'll see it in a minute. but first of all this right here it's like a bandana from the first ever karmic gathering that took place up in Michigan. Yeah, October 13th, 2006. Yeah. Yes. October list. That's right. That's the title of it. And this is like, I mean, this this alone right here would have been a fantastic gift. You know, I mean, there's not a lot of these floating around. There's yeah. probably less than, God, I don't even know how many of these were made. Probably less, definitely less than 50. But, yeah. I mean, shit. All right. See here, ch, ch, ch. and we say, let's see here, man. I can't imagine when we get a lot of people because golly, yeah, it's hard to keep up with all these. So, uh, we got a first time chat from a viewer. Hey, Colt Daddy from Distracted Morris, what was your original idea you started calling people about before we decided on main event? Oh no, no, no! That, that's what I was calling. I was actually on the phone with main event trying to make sure that we could get in get that many people in for the event because 
you know, I, I wanted to make sure, but they wouldn't answer the phone. So we went on blind faith <laughs> that, that they would have room to get us in that night. And they did. They told we, they told we did. So, but all right. All right. We talked about the covering, but I guess we got to talk about the actual gift. Oh Holy my moly. Gosh. It's really hard to see because of the camera switch. Camera yeah, two here. here we go. Now this is a giant boulder that it's black. So it's really hard to see, but. This is a D30 that's been 3D printed. And, man, it's got Morton's List symbols. And when Robert gave this to me, I cried. I mean, I fucking for real cried. I started crying. And not bawling, but... Not ugly face crying. No, just no. Like it was... It was it overwhelmed really, with, with feelings. And- it touched my soul. And it was just... It made me so happy just for someone to... to you know, give me a gift that's... I mean, this is cool. I mean, this is not something you've just... Oh, I picked this up at Walmart no. for you. you know? <laughs> right. Fuck, no, this is... 3D printed. Yeah, 3D printed. Weighs about two and a half, three pounds. Eh, maybe not. maybe not that much, but it's oh, yeah. it's it's a good pound. I, I wouldn't want to get hit in the head with it. Yeah, it's delicate, though. I wouldn't want to be rolling this on concrete, no. you know. I, I'd, roll, I'd totally roll it on some carpet, though. Yeah, some felt uh, or something, yeah. But, uh... But thank you, Robert, for, for this amazing gift oh. that just, wow. All righty. All right, before I tear up again. Yeah. All right, let's get rid of all these logos and garbage in their face. You know who we are now. We don't need all this hoopla. And why is mine still, why is my name tag still up there? Say my name. There it is. Now it's gone. All right, so get rid of all that stuff. But, yes, thank you for the gifts. Of We got drop dollars. That was hundos. But it's got QR codes to scan. That was that was old Trebla right there, yeah. the man. Some of his tactics. Tactics, man. I'm <laughs> telling you, man, man of many tactics. Of uh, Amy hooked everybody up with a, a, a just a rolled up doll. I don't know what this is used for. I don't know where it should go. Hey. I don't know what you do with these things. But yeah, I mean, for some re- weird reason, it fits perfectly in some of those. So weird. Hmm, funny how that works. Funny how that works. And this is a hand painted little thing look how beautiful that is wow it shows up great on the camera it's like a little scene from the woods and the lake and stuff right there and it's trying to zoom in on your face but yeah thank you very much oh yeah we got some tarot cards and stuff it's from Jarrett, his gift and then we got <laughs> this this is another crazy little sticker that was given to us oh yeah <laughs> yeah that's got a bunch of yeah, strange pointy objects on them that I don't know what those are. <laughs> also got some crow feathers. Yes, crow feathers. Yep, yeah. Um, got a little thing hanging on the wall that was made for me. There. Oh, okay. All right, so let's just go through the event. All right, let's back up. Start all the way over at the very beginning. So the first night. Thursday. Thursday night. Nacho Baller Symposium. So Intimate. Very intimate. Lots of good food. And sorry to the vegans, I forgot the $10 worth of vegan. <laughs> the one pound of vegan beef that I bought and cooked and or my, my wife helped prepare and all that. So, uh, yeah, and I forgot it here at the house. Well, despite that being missing, there was plenty of food for everybody. There was. Even though the rice and stuff that I cooked, I left in the kitchen, never brought it out. It was crazy. I, I was so busy. We were talking about this earlier. Uh, yeah, there was a point in time I was like, "Man, I was so stressed out." And even even uh, Alberto called me out on this. Of, uh, you know, my energy was off for some parts because there was a lot of stress and stuff. And sometimes I don't handle stress that well. But let me tell you, I would do it all again, <laughs> tenfold more stressful if it has half of the karma at the end that that just the the camaraderie the energy the friendships that were made uh, it, i i can't even i can't even Mm-mm. i can't even <laughs> uh, it was amazing absolutely amazing and thank you to each and every person that came out oh my god so 
yeah, I do it all again in a heartbeat. So just know that. Just know. I don't care how stressful it is. Fuck it. We're doing it again someplace, <laughs> sometime, whatever. <clears throat> we we will do it again. So, um, so that was our first. So we sat around. We ate good. Then we sat around. We had the symposium portion of the event, and everybody got to put in their input, like what they would like to see in the future of Morton's List. And we asked questions. Yeah, and Nate and Jet would bring up some kind of topic to touch yeah. on, and we all went around the table. And Right. Which you may get to, some of that was recorded, not by me, but some other folks there. And you may get to see those videos, you know, sometime. And that was that uh, was really fun to have people bring up things and then touch on them later and just a real collaborative. Yeah. Collaboration is definitely the word that I would use for this because hopefully the newer things that are coming to Morton's list and they, they kind of hinted around something that was happening later this year that we'll get into at the end of yeah. this. And now the full details have been revealed so we can talk yeah. about it. So, so we will, we will go into that a little bit later. Another thing that I really enjoyed about the symposium aspect of it was that there was a, a great variety of of people to put in input. People yes. like me and Brad have been playing it forever. Old school All the vets. way down to people who have up up until the point of the symposium had never played at all. Right. Even yeah, had never played Morton's list at all, putting in the input. That's a great perspective. And the input they put in was actually very valuable for it's just what they've heard about the game, putting in input. It it was very valuable. Everybody's there were so many great ideas. I mean, it's kind of good to have the ideas from brand new people that haven't been playing, don't know, they don't know what to expect. So, but they're still putting in input because mm -hmm. they're like, this would be, this is what would draw me in. This is what would be fresh. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's, really, we're so close to it. We can't, we can't, yeah, we can't zoom back out. Yeah. We can't zoom out and to, to give that kind of perspective anymore. <laughs> right. So we're, we're too close to it. We're too yeah. into it, you know, especially me now. I'm, but yeah. I'm, about, I'm as close as you can get to it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> we'll discuss that here in a little bit too. We'll talk more about if if you're in the chat and you see a bunch of the cult daddy references. Yeah, there's a a new nickname was was given to me during the event, but we'll get into that once we get into Friday afternoon. So, uh, then we had ice cream. Holy shit! Sat there and ate so much ice cream. <laughs> so I I think you're not feeling so good. Was was a lot of dairy. Dairy mm -hmm. and holy crap, a lot of taco or uh, nachos and cheese and just yep. oh my gosh, and yeah. I, yeah. I mean that would and wreck I have just anybody. as of the past within the past month have really been finding out the breadth of my lactose intolerance. <laughs> so you tested it, you lost. <laughs> yeah, hey, but but it was worth it. It was yeah, totally. So but Friday, let's get into Friday. So, yeah, so that was about it for for the symposium. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So of. Uh, Jumping on into Friday, we just started out. We played up straight up Morton's list, you know, full full book, full book. Anything could happen. Yeah, anything can happen. No special tables, no special results. Anything just just happened, happened. I want to go back just a little bit. So Friday, we met. Uh, some of us met a little bit earlier before the quest, and that was really cool to meet back up with the people from Symposium, and then meet other people that are just coming in for the event. And, and melding in all that fellowship, that was really cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got to have a short discussion, kind of shake hands and everything. And then, <laughs> yeah, they're talking about the Kool-Aid. Yeah, oh, the, from yeah. the symposium, the big toast. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was that was pure. Do you want to know the secret ingredients? I can tell you. Yeah. Secret ingredient was Fago. Mm -hmm. You know those little things that are Kool-Aid that you just squirt in to make instant make Kool water instant Kool-Aid? Kool-Aid brand Mio is pretty much what it is. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. About, about three or four of those. Yeah. So And like one or two <laughs> bottles of water. I mean, it was pure soda and... oh yeah. Sugar syrup. Yeah. Sugar syrup. Oh, that stuff, That's yeah. you a, a drink and the people that got the big... Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to hit the mic. The, big, gla the big glasses. Like a big mug. Yeah, I don't know how that treated your tummy later, but dang. Heck, maybe that was it right there. That was sugar. <laughs> sugar. All righty. So we, we keep, we're yeah. we're scatterbrained. So we're all over the place. All so right. back to back quest Friday. Back to back crest. So now it was, now it was not electric Kool Aid. I, I would, 
I would not. I would not. I would totally tell people if we were serving electric Kool Aid, but that was not electric. Mm-hmm. It's close you can get with sugar to electric Kool Aid, but um. All right, so the Friday quest back to back. Start out with one quest, pretty much. What was the quest? Do you recall it? Media Blitz. Media Blitz. So, and Mike was our table master. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can bring up a picture of Mike real quick. Let's see here. So that way you can see who we're talking about. Um, bam, camera three. There you are. There's a buddy Mike. We'll kind of blow it up a little bit right there. So that way you can see he's a dude right there. Him and Jarrett came up or came down from Michigan and totally freaked it. So So yeah, we discussed how to how to accomplish that quest. And uh we decided that for Media Blitz we were gonna head downtown and we had come up with a what was it? Was it was it a full thirty? Yeah, a full thirty questions and we were gonna go up to people and roll the 30 side of die and that was going to bring up a question to ask which right could be anything like what's for dinner or <laughs> yeah what do you think about the number 13 is it unlucky to you just yeah. there's a lot of things getting asked of a lot of randomness and we we're supposed to go out and film it and then we all sent our stuff to jerry terrifying which of um is going to Cut all that together. Cut it all together, yeah. and eventually there'll be a video um, that will show all that off. Yeah. So. So hey, guys, it's Jess. Jess. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven, comma, you angel? There we go. That's right. Oh, he's working on it as time allows. Yeah, I mean, totally. I mean, we understand it's a huge oh, yeah. project. You got a yeah, lot this, of footage this guy from knows a lot of people. Video editing and what that yeah, entails. yeah, and and you you actually have a family and kids and stuff. So Jerry, take your time. You know, we we just can't wait to see it. We like once you get it done, and you know, perfection does take some time. So absolutely, yeah. So and with that many different people's footage and everything too. So. But yeah, if you do have footage of get with Jerry Terrifying and uh, maybe swap some infos and uh, uh, hit him up and send your footage to him. So that way, I think it's Jerry Terrifying at gmail.com, I think is the email. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just saying words. So, so yeah, we got, we got that, we got that quest banged out. We were a little short on time, so we rolled another one quick. Mm-hmm. Creative writing. Creative writing. Yes. Rolled that in the market square right after the other one as we all came back and gathered gathered up. And that one was actually concluded before the grand finale down at World's Fair Park. We sat in the big circle and everybody read their creative writings. And man, the one, again, going back to uh, Stefan and uh, Daniel, the, the story that they had wrote together, I mean, it was it was it was epic. It was super long, but it was it was just wow. <laughs> it was heart touching, and I mean, it had true emotion to it. And and the, and that was the second quest they ever played. Yes, so <laughs> that's awesome. I just wow. can't get over that. Yeah. <laughs> so, and talk about diving in. <laughs> yeah, head first, and just you know, I'm jumping in feet first, just whatever, just amazing. That's so, what's up. Yes. Um, so now we get into Friday afternoon, which was, there was a bit of rain that happened. Freaked me out. This is where some more of the stress came into play. Yeah. Because of, you know, we had we had a bunch of people out there, and I was worried about muddy feet getting all in the castle. And I was, it, the the well, rain you know it was coming down hard and then letting up, and then it, it was, yeah. uh, we didn't know if it was coming or going. Right, like, and, we're, and we were literally about to have a fire ritual out mm-hmm. in the middle of the woods, and it comes a rain. So eventually after time, we was like, we got to go, we got to do it. We waited about 30 minutes to an hour, so we said, we're going out into the woods. We did the thing. In retrospect, it was actually a really cool element. It was. To have that rain. It was. And we, we kind of banished the rain with the fire ritual. Yeah. You know, by the end of the ritual, the rain had completely gone. It was blue skies again. Yeah. So we did fire that. Fire and water. We yes, did that. We said with that. Yeah. <laughs> we totally did that. Or that's the way that, that <clears throat> weather happens. So I don't know. So, 
But oh, see, the ritual was the charging of the coins. Pull, pull, pull your yeah. coin up here. Yeah, you grab mine right here. Let's see here. Pull that bad boy up. Uh, Let's see here. And that was awesome. Yes. So it here, was, here's a quick peek. Right there you go. There's a close-up of the coin. I'm on camera two now, Hoy, so if you want to just was show a, It was a impressively in-depth and lengthy ritual. Yes, it was. It had a lot of aspects to it. There was passing a fire around, which was totally dangerous, but that's the way Morton's List is. That's why the there's warning icons for danger. You know, with the scissors and the eye, that was definitely the danger. Then the the coins were all passed through the flames. I am struggling. Struggle, you know, bus. Hold Come on, homie. I, I must have licked it and sealed it. <laughs> he licked it and sticked it. There we are. So, you get it? There you go. Show so right there it is. So there's your coin. It's going to be kind of hard to see because it always wants to focus on your face and not your... Yeah. Yeah, I've got pictures of it, but there's the other side too. Love, love the design. Listen love that. that weight. Listen that shit. Yeah, that's that's metal. Yeah, and each one is numbered, hand numbered, right there. And Hoy has number nineteen. Yep, yep. That was witnessed by me, M thirteen. So if you have one that's got the M thirteen, which I think most of them have M13 on them that if you got it at the event. I will tell you this, if you don't know, there are other signatures from other Twilight Lords on these coins. So, at least two other signatures from two other Twilight Lords on the coins. So, just as a heads up, if you want to collect all three, it's out there. <laughs> and on the inside, there's a little booklet gives you all the details on how to use it. So, just, I'll read this out for those that didn't get one. Uh, it says, This emblem may be flipped by a table master on the 13th of any month. A flip results in a knight unlocks a new quest possibil possibil possibilities. See right, which is on the right-hand side. This new quest replaces earlier roles. A 13 ends on the flip until the next ends the flip until the next month. So you can flip his sucker three times. It says up to three consecutive night flips are possible. So with the first flip of the coin, if you get a knight, which is going back to this, that's the knight side. Yep. That that's the heads. Yeah. And that's the tails. That's the bad or you know, thirteens are always for the most part unlucky when you're playing Morton's list. But if you get the knight, then the first knight you get, then you roll again on the same table, adding a new quest option. So, you flip it again. This is where it starts getting really fun. If you get a second knight, you land on this for a second time, you get to pick any table from the nine prime and roll a new quest. Pretty powerful. That is powerful, especially if you're playing 360 and you need to get on certain tables to get things. Yeah. Now, to get really impressive, you flip it and you get that third knight. You get to pick any quest, special results not allowed, from the nine prime table previously selected. Holy so, shit. So, <laughs> say there's that one quest that you just need and you can't get it and it's been a bastard. We're back on camera two, right there. So, uh, you know, this this is probably the thirteenth of any month. You can use this coin. Can I see your coin. 12, I'll put it back for you. Twelve times a year. Now, do you like yours in the in between the sleeve, or do you like it outside so you can see the coin? Outside. You like it outside. Yep. Okay. And I got my little. Uh, roast, I put I put mine in the sleeve. Of uh, yeah, so there's a bunch of people with different numbers and stuff like that. Um, I have number thirteen, and they were, uh, they were, they were all in just a, a big box, and oh yeah, they were just kind of passing. I was like the only person that one. that really handpicked their coin because this was a very special event for me, and you know I had a lot of input on the on this new uh, uh, Morton's relic or whatever you'd like to call it. Um, yeah, so so yeah. Do you want to talk any more about the exactly how, what we did to charge these coins? 
Yeah, so we had all the uh, these like torches, and they were all lit. And uh, then as the coins were being taken out by a... You had an inner circle and an outer circle. The outer circle was passing around the torches while the inner circle was walking with a coin, grabbing coins. So as you were walking around in this inner circle, you're passing the coin through the fire. So, and karmically charging as power words were being sang for each of, and each, there were 13 torches, which each one represented the 13 tables of Morton's list. Yep. So, and power words were being chanted. <laughs> Luckily, piss board rained and there were no stragglers over in Ims Nature Center like, what are these weirdos doing? So, yeah, because eventually we got to get into the earth and, and yeah, we they, chanted, called, they called for a word to be said for you know the earth and I said evil. So we're chanting evil for like <laughs> 30 to 45 seconds, you know, you got 20 something people out there chanting. All wearing evil, black, passing evil, around fire. Evil. Yeah, it was <laughs> freaking crazy. Some craziness. So, of. Uh, Woo! Yeah, so, um, let's see here. I need to get caught up on the uh, chats here. Let's see here. Da, 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 so, yeah, da, mad da. props to. Nathan and Jess for for creating that whole ritual. Oh yeah. yeah, very, yeah. very in depth, very <laughs> it's very cool. So, let's see here. And and all right. All right, just kind of reading through, make sure I didn't miss any questions or anything. So, it says does it work for triumvirate table or twilight scroll? No. Nope. This coin does, well, I if you had if you flipped it one time, and you're on the triumvirate, say Yang or Yin, or Rainbow Dragon, or even Twilight Scroll. You can re-roll with one flip. Yeah, if you if that's where you start. Yeah. Right. If you continue to flip, then you're going to have to pick one off the nine prime. If you get that, so, it that will bounce you. Excessive. Right, right. It will kind of bounce you back. So. It's kind of the only place it's going to work right there. So you will only get a re-roll on that table. You will not be able to pick Quest from the Triumvirate or Twilight Scroll. So it will not work there. So, so if you, I, And it is written. It is very well. We, we took that into consideration. Mm-hmm. So it's very well written this time into how the coin is used. There. So if you, if you find yourself on the Triumvirate, your best bet's probably to just go ahead and stick with those two flips no first flip oh, i mean yeah the first yeah. one just flip with one just flip once don't don't be flipping two and three four, which five. works out well because you don't really want to test your fate over there right right <laughs> so all righty and of uh, the end part of the ritual okay was where of. Uh, well, I, I, you know what? We forgot to talk about one thing during the three tasks we're given. Yeah, I, I figured we'd, we'd we'd sum all that up at the end, or do okay. you want to talk about them as we encounter them well, chronologically? We can go ahead and we'll, we'll go ahead and talk about it now because we're already okay. we're already forty minutes in this stream. So yeah, there was there was more to this fire ritual. Well, there's more to this entire weekend. Oh yeah, this entire weekend was a challenge for me mm-hmm. because a few months before this event. Of I submitted an application to become a Twilight Lord. Yes, you did. So, you know, didn't really heavily talk about that or, you know, go into any details, but that was a thing. Went into it. So, All right, so you didn't know much going into it. Right. It, well, it wasn't I mean, like, hey, well, uh, this and that and this is happening. Right. This is the progress of the year application. It doesn't work like that. No. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we hadn't even. We just started playing the event, and I didn't even know that it would kind of go into effect during the event. I had Mm-mm. no idea. So I was given three tasks. So the first one was the challenge of creativity. Yep. So that's going to come up here in just a minute. We'll talk about that one. Yeah. The second task was taking place during this. I had to put total faith into the inner circle. So it was the test of faith. So what they did for the test of faith, I laid back. The inner circle then lifted my slender frame, <laughs> a sl- slender frame up above slender the wet fl- frame because it just got yeah. done raining. Thank goodness I didn't catch on fire. So I heard a few arm hairs got singed though. But know. he was lifted up. 
carried Five across circle members. 13 torches yeah. that were lit on fire and carried across and emerged a new person, almost. A newer, newer-ish person. Really so. cool, though, because you were the rain washed away what you were... And then the flame purified it. At ju- the end, just like yeah. with the, uh, just like with your your old quest logs. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think my the story of my quest logs kind of inspired the the fire portion of it. Mm-hmm. You know, because it started out with me actually lighting the torches with a quest log was part of it. That's right. So we That's lit right. the torches, or the first torch was lit with a quest log. So that was part of the... Uh, and then we used the torch itself to light others. Right. So that was part of the ritual is the becoming new is trading in all your past experiences for all the brand new experiences. Because once you become a Twilight Horde, it doesn't stop. It only goes faster, uh, harder, more, <laughs> more, more. Yeah. So, you know, just think <laughs> just because you get the Twilight Horde status, you're going to kick back and enjoy life. No, son. No. That's when the real work begins. That's when real work begins. So, you know. So, all right. I guess we can get in now that the kind of talked about the, you know, as you can tell, I'm still here. I'm not, you know, did not have to go to the uh, <laughs> Vanderbilt burn ward. So I was keeping Yeah, so that safe. the whole, that whole fire thing got done. And then there was, um, there was a little bit of break until... Till later that evening. Till late night market yeah. quest. Yeah, we did the late night quest down in Market Square, which was a specialty table going back to the task that was given to me on Friday night, the task creativity. I had to create a brand new table for that evening. Yep. And it was a table of all the freshest thing that you can do in downtown Knoxville. Absolutely. On a, on a Friday night. You know, I mean, there was... I mean, and I had all the hot spots picked out, man. Like, like, yeah. I had bowling on there, but there's like this little place called Maple Lanes, which is a totally cool bowling alley that's right there in downtown. That's kind a bar. And it's, it's upscale. Very upscale. Had an all point. Like, I showed up to the nines in a suit and stuff. That's just, right. Uh, shoot. Let's, I guess we need to try to, like, pull up some more pictures. We're just sitting here yakking. And what we're going to do with the photos here. We're actually just going to go through and use people's uh, uh, social media accounts and find some photos and just kind of roll through them. Let's see here. I thought this fine gentleman had some good ones, but... Yeah, it can't be a planner and a photographer. Yeah, there was... there was and photographer. Yeah, there was a lot that... Usually I'm the, the guy that likes to, you know, do He's a lot the chronicler. of... Yeah, but uh, I really couldn't on this one, so let's see here. Here we go, here we go. Let's look at that, look at that, look at that. That was all Baller Nacho Symposium stuff. Let's see here. Man, Brad, you should have showed these pictures. <laughs> what am I doing, man? So, all right, here we go. So here's kind of the layout for the Baller Nacho Symposium. Here's some artworks that were hanging in there. It's a really cool... Uh, evil jester in this in this painting was amazing. Uh, here's here's the spread. This is at the secret castle location. Man, this is wow. That's all I got to say about that. Wow, <laughs> we fit everybody in. Um, this is the chandelier with the lightings and crystal balls and all the the. This was Michael's layout here. He was number seventeen. There's our table master, Jerry hey, Terrifying, yeah. decked out. Yeah, with the uh, tuxedo shirt on. Hell yeah. And this is during the chitty chat portion of the stuff. And this is some of the artworks that's inside that banquet hall almost. It's very amazing. And there's Dr. Wiggle Farmer. This was Mike's friend for the <laughs> duration of the event. Showing up. Showing up all over the place and doing mad crazy fun stuff. So... Let's see here. All right, here's some outdoor of the castle. Nice. Here's the little, some of the little fountains and stuff that were outside. Aside from that little bit of rain, the weather was great. It was, it was a little hot, though. It was a little bit hot, but... It, it could have been worse, but yeah, yeah. 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 Here's a layout of the uh, sword. That sword was given as a gift, uh, or as a prize, really, at the 
near the end for the f- grand finale. We'll talk about it a little bit more. Rob Murphy got it. Hatchet Rob, our homie. And uh, the helmet was given to, for me to Dak as a gift. Really? Okay. Yeah, I just, I just straight up gave it to him. I was like, I want, you to, I want you to remember this event. And, you know, he's kind of blown away. But, I mean, it's, you know, he's got that now thing to kind of sit there and be like, you know. Because, man, Dak is awesome. He's awesome supporter. Always yes. does the online quest. And I, I mean, was just a great super mind. pleased to have been able to met, meet him in person. Mm-hmm. And I really hope I get to see him again. Oh, definitely. Definitely. He's a super cool guy. So. Yeah. Real salt of the earth, dude. So, and here's kind of the layout. This was actually like my bedroom in this little area, but this is where we did the, uh, um, the, what, what quest was this? This was the, uh, Hot streaming? Yeah, hot streaming quest took place in here. Mm-hmm. We'll get to that, that in just a minute. for that? Yeah. Yep, this is just all the stuff that was in that bedroom. Is Now, this wasn't in the bedroom. This is outside. Lots of little gargoyles and little freaky things. You know, this little pan-looking dude out there playing his pipes. This was the ceiling of the bedroom I stayed in, which had crazy <laughs> paintings on the ceiling, just mad fresh. Holy crap, it was so fresh. Oh, uh, and this is Mike's uh he got a tattoo after the event. Straight up all that karma. You're and he sure? yeah, he got the lore galore. Because that was his favorite lore tape. galore. Yep. He he <laughs> went and got he it's went the damn lore galore. Oh yeah. Because he said that was his favorite. We went around and talked about favorite tables, and his was Lord, mostly because he said that's what he always rolled. So hey, and that was and my, he did. That was, that was my table specialty. Yeah, Golden so, memory, Lord of Lore. So the best table. So, but yeah, just epic, amazing. There's a little of Saturday night. See, there's our homies right there. Let's see. Yeah, you can see my little mouse right there's Daniel and Stefan, his brother. I'm kind of over here lurking in the background, but. Uh, those two dudes, man. There's Sarah. There's uh, our buddy. This is Merlin. This was his girlfriend right there. It's Mike. Tall Jess. There's Nathan. There's Jarrett. There's Doctor Wiggle Farmer. All in the in and the that, shot and right and there. And that's funny as hell because I wasn't able to be there. And then Merlin and his girl show up, which is you know not random as fuck, but for the all that to have happened to have made Neil seventeen. Man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and we haven't seen yeah we haven't seen him in years in decades, really. So it's for all that to come together to make seventeen people, yes, I'm just saying, completely amazing. Oh, there, my big ugly. The fate. magic of the carving. This is right before uh, we rolled that final quest. We'll talk about it here in just a minute. So where were we at? Oh, Saturday night. Let's or Friday night. Let's go back Friday night. Yes. So we rolled the quest, and the quest here. Switch back to a camera here. We're on camera two again. Uh, so the quest for this one was officially uh, uh, friendly encounters, yeah, which is just about making new friends. I mean, which, uh, damn, you know, and we're like, great place to do it, and not, and we were like, okay, cool, you know, like, so but it it again things were set into motion without us knowing that would lead to some awesome shit. Right. So we ended up of, uh, let's see here. I, th- I think we wound up going to, was that Bernadette's Secret Garden? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we ended up there. It's in Preservation Pub, up uh, on the roof. Rooftop. Her, yeah. Her crystal rooftop bar, whatever yeah. they call it. Yeah. Like gigantic. Crystal set up. 500 pound, uh, like rose quartz and stuff. Oh, yeah. Amidst Completely waterfalls. amazing. Just, Completely wow. amazing stuff so, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. If you get the chance, look it up online and uh, check that out. So but, we wa- we all wound up up there. Yep, and uh, we ended up making tons of friends. First of all, uh, Stephanie, uh, her brother was there with a group of his friends, so everybody got to meet his whole group of friends. And she didn't know he was up there. Didn't know he was even up there. Mm-hmm. So just randomly ran into her brothers and hung out with her brothers and really cool dude. Really cool super dudes. cool, super yeah. cool dudes, and all of his friends, super cool guys, and yeah. so everybody made new friends there. <laughs> and then, a couple of tables down, there was a birthday party going on, and I went over and I was kind of talking a little bit, and I was like, "Oh, it's," and I saw the cake, and it looked like a cake that come from a place that my sister works at called Magpies, which is like high end 
some of the best freaking patient. You I mean, ain't had cake. Ba- too, yeah, you, had you ain't had cake and cupcakes. So you had some magpie <laughs> shit. If you're ever in Knoxville, you go to magpies. I'm telling you, if you want that shit's made with real butter, you know. Oh my god. So, of uh, so I just struck out. I was like, that looks like a magpie's cake. Oh, it is. It is. You want a piece? I'm like, sure, I'll take a piece. And then we get to talk, and I was like, do you know Do you know Peggy Hambright? And they're like, oh, God, yeah, we know Peggy. I was like, well, do you know Scott Carpenter? And I'm like, yeah. And I was like, Scott's my uncle. I was like, do you know Jonna that works at Maggie? They're like, yeah, we know Jonna. I was like, that's my sister. So, holy crap. So, I got to be all friends with him. And the, this is the thing. It's Friday the 13th, right? It's one of the girls' birthday was that day on Friday the 13th. Yep. And she meets all these people playing Morton's List on a Friday the 13th. What? In Knoxville? What? Yep. Offered cake to everybody. Yeah, it gave, yeah. everybody got a piece of cake because there was so much cake to go around. And it was, phew, minds were blown just from the cake. Then we all sung them, but we got people to sing them happy birthday. So we got the first table with Stephanie's brother and their friends. The table right next door, I walk over next to them. I kind of strike it up. I was like, hey, we're going to sing her happy birthday. We, and one of the girls was like, if you buy a shot... I'm like, damn, that's a lot of money. So they're like, no, we're just playing. We're just playing. We'll sing. We'll sing. <laughs> so we get everybody singing. Once we start singing, this is like two tables. Then there was a group of us. that was like 20 of us. So And I'm sure others joined in. I just heard. Oh, yeah, just heard. So you have this whole rooftop bar yeah. <laughs> singing. And there's like 100-something people up there all singing happy birthday. And you, I'm sure you could hear this from – all over Market Square this year. Yeah, week. for sure. So we made this girl's birthday with like 100 people singing her happy birthday. So absolutely amazing. And <laughs> uh, let's see here. Then I ended up going over to the, the – they had a little bar that was just served shots from this one. You walk up and say, hey, I want a shot. Just like real quick so you don't have to go up to the main bar. So I was like, here's some money. I'm going to send some people over here, give them all the shots that they can get for this amount of money and keep a nice fat tip for yourself. They're like, what? I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to, because I don't like to, in modern days today, you don't necessarily, you don't go physically handle people's shots. The The proper way to do Especially it nowadays. Especially if you're a dude and you're getting them for women. Yes. That you don't yeah. know. Proper yeah. way to do it, just go up to the bar, pay for it, mm-hmm. and let them go get, if they decide they want it, they just go up and say, hey, I'm here to get the drink from so and so. Yeah, you know, so that way you don't physically touch it. I mean, that's that's just it's more trusting. Than, yeah, that yeah. is the way to do it. So, guys, if you're out there watching, you want to buy a lady a drink, you Seriously. want to impress her and show her that you you know the times and, and you know you're trustworthy. Pay for it. Let the bartender serve it. You don't have to hand it to them. Yeah, you know. Then, if they would like to come over and thank you later. They awesome. may they may come if they don't want to come thank you over take the fucking hint jackass yeah there you go you know she can no have the drink danger. she don't owe you shit yeah. so <laughs> you know so we yeah. want we want to put that out there she don't owe you shit for buying her a drink so good etiquette good nice. etiquette the best etiquette so yeah. so just trying to teach the the <laughs> the boys out there how to be men out there yeah. how to are, be a gentleman these are evolving times here they are so so we'll leave it at that so. Uh, but yeah, they went and they're like, "Holy crap!" And they're coming over and like, "Oh my god, you didn't have to buy some drinks." And they're, you know, then they were talking to my friends and their friends become friends. And then while all this is going on, there were a lot of us that really didn't know each other. Like me and Robert started talking. Like I'd met him at the gathering, but didn't know him. So we started talking with Robert. And man, we dude is super cool guy. He yeah. lives up in Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and um, what he does for fun, he goes to these places and does like kayaking and stuff but i mean it's like rivers and shit up there no he's like he goes to these places where they have like man-made rivers and and stuff to to do like surfing and like river surfing and stuff like that it's crazy oh, wow yeah. cool yeah they got these I, we, we ain't got any shit like that here in knoxville because wow. we we well, have we, we actually have some rapids yeah we stuff. have all the real thing yeah, yeah and the kayaks and mountains and water <laughs> coming down the whatever so yeah crazy so yeah that was the finale. Friday night. That, that was, was the finale for Friday. Then we went down Artist Alley. Well, we, we rolled another quest, didn't we? Yeah, it was All That You Like. Ended up being... Oh, really? Okay, I wasn't there. You weren't there for All That You Like? Oh, I, you I and Bats already cut out. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you already went to your car. Yeah, so we rolled another quest. It was All That You Like. Okay. 
and we met up with some. And that was uh, at the specialty table. Yes, that was yeah. on the specialty table. Let's see. I've got another thing. Let me go find it here. That's not it. How about this? Let's go to the Facebook stuff. Let's see. Let's blow this up. All right, so let's switch back over here. Bam. All right, so here we go. See, there's a group of people that we just randomly met, and we pulled them up into this little, this dude right here was our table master right here, and he was just with his friends. They brought their own drinks. <laughs> they come down. They're sitting there just <laughs> sipping away, man, and they joined our group because this is the cool thing. Usually with Morton's List, when you got a group of people sitting there, roll a quest. If it's like three to five people, of and you try to get people to join your group, usually people are a little standoffish. You know, like, eh, I don't know. But if you have a group of twenty people, <laughs> yeah, twenty plus, yeah. people just walk up wanting to join your group because they're the, it's like a safety in numbers thing. Like, mm-hmm. well, twenty people can't all be serial killers, <laughs> but three definitely could be. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. twenty definitely, there's no serial killers in this group. So. Yeah, so... Hey, just, we'll, we'll check out what you're doing. Yeah. So, there's Amy. We're, I'm just going to kind of go through these Facebook pictures and say what up to everybody. So, uh, this was from the Hot Streaming Quest. Uh, I'm trying to find some stuff. There's Amy. There's a blurry picture of me. That's that. Ba, ba, ba. We'll come back to these here in a minute. Let's make a video. I'll sit here. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Lots of pictures. Lots of pictures. Lots of pictures. Of course there's lots of pictures. Lots of pictures. Bom, 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 bom. All right. We're getting there. I know there's some pictures from Friday night in here. It's like every time you pull up pictures and you're trying to find them, it's always stuff that you're like, I don't want I don't want this one from that day. I want this one from the other day. Yeah, this stream, I guess, is going to run a bit long. I guess so. What, what, what are we at? Uh, let's see here. Right now it is it's 2 o'clock, but we're going to keep this party rolling, oh, dude. All right, here we go. Here we are. So here's – this. you were in this one, so this is kind of near the end. We're, no, this is – we did the group – I think we did the shot before we went upstairs to the bar. We did a group shot, so we're all hanging out. No, it was after mm. because uh, – because Stephanie's brother was taking the pictures. Oh, okay, that's right. All right, sorry. Her, Lot, so her, much happens. All her the younger detail. brother. Yeah, all the details kind of, kind of, kind of roll together. So yeah. So there we are, all down Market Square. Just made a ton of new friends. Right, throwing up, you that, know. Throwing up that am. There's some of the people. There's us. All right, let's just keep on rolling and stuff. Let's see. We'll go back to this right here. All right. So back to the live shot. So, Saturday afternoon. Wait, we didn't end the All That You Like quest. Yeah, okay. So, we went down Artist Alley Uh and took some pictures. And that's when the table master broke off. And he passed the responsibility of table master to me. So, then we walked. Me and Mike went and checked on his car. And then we kind of, everybody started to scatter a little bit. So, I passed on the table master ability to each and individual member of the inner circle. And I said, just do whatever you want. This is explore Knoxville, have fun. Are you tired? Go to bed, do all that you want. Are you hungry? Go. Cause people were getting hangry. Oh. So I all was like, y'all, like. y'all go get some food, go do the things, have fun, whatever. So everybody ended up going, doing what they wanted, all that you like. So, Oh, here's another, let's get back to this picture right here. Uh, this picture is from uh, the Artist Alley back behind Market Square. This is Dolly Parton, who is the patron saint of Tennessee. Yeah. Uh, especially East Tennessee. I don't know about all of Tennessee. This lady right here is the patron saint of, of of East Tennessee. So, you know, I mean, I don't listen to a lot of Dolly's music, but if you say a bad word about Dolly, I'll bust you right in the mouth. She does a lot for the community. She does. She's She is actually a good lady. and Yeah. An awesome human being, and Dolly needs to play Morton's List. I think she would get a lot out of Morton's List, and she could do a lot of good for Morton's List. Too, yeah, you know, I mean, she could, you know, uh, Morton's List at Dollywood. Oh hell yeah, that'd be dope. Mm-hmm. All right, Dolly, we'll we'll work on that. You know, if you see yeah, the stream, yeah, right. see the stream the next day or so, just let us know, and we'll we'll talk more about yeah, it. You you get see- your people to get with my people. Yeah, we're gonna- and we'll all. We'll all do that. We'll, right. we'll do Morton Mountain at Dollywood. There we go. Back on camera two. 
So, uh, let's see here. Let me get back in case some people want to talk in the chat. Sorry, I'm just not the best at keeping up with the chat. It's kind of hard when you're doing the pictures and yeah, yeah. Else too. And you got this. But so up, there, that, so there you go. I don't that, need this anymore. It, that that concludes Friday night. Friday night. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. And it All sounds right. like what a crazy event already between the symposium and Friday, but. There's Dan, a, there's more. There's a whole nother day. There's a whole nother day. So I'll, I'll talk mostly about this. And Saturday kicks it in with the very first question. Another specialty table of this one was put together. We, we had two versions of this. This was the in real life fantasy realms table. Um, we To determine the table master, we had a archery contest. We started out with a roll-off because, I mean, we still had a lot of people. So we narrowed it down right. to... We don't need 20 we, people shooting arrows. We had, yeah, we had seven <laughs> We had seven arrows, so we got seven people for table masters. So highest rolls. So did that. We had a little archery contest. And uh, Enzo, I think, won that. And uh, Nice. Is that me dinging? My bad. Not you dinging. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't realize he became tail master for that one. Oh yeah, nice. so had a good time and what was rolled there? Rolled on that table. We rolled on the sunny day table, so it was the rainbow dragon because there was a couple of triumvirts. I tried to get them at the very end to make it extra fresh. Yeah, this one was very heavy, like where Friday night's table had a lot of extra options and mutations and mutations mate deviations dose could have been possibilities this one did not this one just had it was just quest 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 and i think if you go to the morton's list discord i've posted these quests there or it may the be tables you mean the tables so yeah yeah nice, i posted cool. these tables over there if you might yeah i remember that out. that that table had a lot of potential for triumphant action yeah so and then I had the rainy day version, which was still fresh as shit. Holy shit. If we, if it would have been raining that day, I think we yeah. still would have had an amazing time. Cause yeah. <laughs> I, at first I was like, Oh man, a rainy day is going to be kind of a bummer. But when I started making the table, I'm like, man, this is yeah, almost, wait a minute. Yeah. this is almost more fun than the sunny day table. Especially but, since it was a lot of people that weren't familiar with the, with the Knoxville. Right. Exactly. So, exactly. They had the Knoxville museum of art on there. All yeah. the, all the Sight stuff. Scene. Yeah. Yeah. Tons of stuff. So, uh, we ended up rolling Rainbow Dragon, Nature Magic. So, Nature Magic, there was a lot of little, little spellcraft and stuff. Let's see, let's yeah. get a wide shot. Rob kind of did a spellcraft and kind of made me that. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to the uh, photos here. Let me find. Oh, that's video. Whoa. And considering the setting being right there, Nature Magic couldn't have... Come at a better time. What a what a great quest for for that setting. Oh yeah, and, and of course it was designed with that in mind. But. It was it was totally designed with arms being in mind. Let's see here. You know what? Right there's a bunch of stuff. Let's go camera three. Bam, and let's blow this up. Bam. All right. So here's our table master Enzo kind of going over the quest with everybody, and of course we still had a little bit of fire left over, so we're using it. So here we are, all rolling, walking down to the uh, uh, go and shoot some arrows. And here, oh, we had the uh, Twilight Lord archery contest too. Uh, I challenged the other Twilight Lords, and uh, told Jess. And Jesse was the uh, he picked the result. So the two losers had to do elevated push-ups. So or inverted push ups or whatever. It was it was Jeez. and I was like, Holy shit, now I've been working out a little bit and getting a little you know, <laughs> in shape, but still I'm not ready for that much or you know, and you had to do thirteen of them. So I took this archery contest very seriously. And one shot, here we go, boom, right through it. There we go. Let's see. There we are. All chilling. I still look white on all sides. But yeah, it was it was totally fun. We had the there's the it's always fun being in the woods and stuff. And this place <laughs> was so it's just overgrown and it's like being in the in the Feywild or something when you're 
when you're out in the this little area. Yeah, hey, I love that. Maybe maybe they're not uh, just bad at keeping up with the landscaping. It's purposely done like that. <laughs> they make you feel like you're in the ancient. Yeah, because they didn't have lawn mowers and shit back in. Yeah. Back in the woods and ancient, you know, times and yeah. castles and but shit. They, they, they had like, gazebos with electricity though. There you go. <laughs> so, oh, there's Enzo right there. He was our. He got a specialty of. Um, uh, award at the at the event of at the symposium. Sorry, I, I just see a picture and it reminds me. Oh yeah, we need to talk about that. Uh, but yeah, he was uh, because of what he does and just the support. The overall, just every time either Epic Quest or Morton's List posts something, he shares it. He spreads it around. He gets other people interested. He's all about coming up with new ideas to like with the dollar drops yeah the, just the get anybody and everybody random people anybody right he started his own discord for list posting yeah morton's list posting for so. you know like memes and just fun shit and so tons of tons of stuff uh-oh and and hell even if it's oh, some no all right sorry even if he he comes up with a good idea that he can't execute, he finds the people that do know how to do it. Right. And he gets it done. <laughs> so, yes. So, total freshness, total uh, tactics, and yeah. everything from Buddy and the man of many names. Mm-hmm. And there we are. So, dun, 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 dun. All righty. So, all right. That was... Quest one Saturday. Yeah, Quest one on Saturday. Quest two was the uh, the streaming quest. Hot streaming. Hot streaming quest, and that was done. Uh, we set up the little um, Twitch area, had the Twilight Lords there doing their thing, and I was cameraman, so I ran around with my camera, kind of filming stuff, and trying, so that way the people that were at home that didn't get to see could watch. You know what was going down, so we went over to Ims. We had it was uh, oddball stunts. Oh, was, really? Was the uh, <laughs> was the quest? So it's a straight up roll on regular Morton's list. This is for all the juggalos and juggalettes. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so we had uh, three legged blindfold races where you blindfolded one person in your group and did wow. a, and then had to tie up one leg to your other person. So three legged race, but one person's blindfold. So and of Mike and Robert were just slaying it. They were the ones just winning like crazy. <laughs> and uh, Steph and Daniel give them a good run for their money. Nice. You know, and uh, table master on that was Andrea. And, uh, nice. yeah, she was, she talked about it, how, you know, had, she, she had, you know, some kind of had to come out of her comfort zone to, to be table master and did phenomenal job. You awesome job. Hell yeah. You know, and that's, that's what Morton's list is. It's kind of what it does. If you're, if you're not usually a person who takes charge, it kind of yep. gives you that one hour of taking charge and being the leader which everybody needs a little bit of that experience in their life. And it kind of, mm -hmm. it can lead to great things. You know, I mean, um, a long time ago, I used to be a very shy individual. And sometimes I can still be a shy individual. Say what? Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah, I can be yeah. very shy and awkward and everything else. But, you know, a lot of times you just get this. And sometimes I'm just not that shy and awkward. I'm, I'm just like, let's go have fun. So, but yeah, I'm to flip that up on the, the 30 side. Um, shoot. So, and filmed that, put it on. It was, then it was time for the grand finale. So in the grand finale, that's where we got into, we're going down to market square. Again? No, we no. went to oh, the world's base, fair park. Base of the, uh, base of the shaft of the sun sphere. That's right. That's right. So went to the, the iconic sun sphere here in Knoxville, which I think we got some pictures of it. I get, even when I think of Knoxville, I think Sun Sphere. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was on an episode of The Simpsons. So. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> Shit's dope. Let's see here. Sorry, I, I guess there's an easier way to do this. I don't have to look at every picture. I can just bring this up and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I make it mad? I think I made it mad. 
It's like, what are you doing to me? All right. I know there's some sun spirits. Yeah. Bleh, 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 bleh. Pictures of the sun sphere here. Someplace. Someplace somewhere. Sometime. I don't know. I do not know. They're in here. Or I thought they are. Maybe they're really small. I just can't see them. Yeah. Yeah, here we are. This is one. There you go. That's us right there. The sun sphere. Yeah. Nice. The big round thing, phallic shaped object in downtown Knoxville. And it's all lit up really pretty at night and stuff. So it's Yeah, really they cool. just redid it and reopened it for the public. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been closed. COVID closed it down for a little bit. There you go. Had a, almost a nearly full moon right above it. So right before the roll. So now this was a test for me of this quest took place. Um, there was no roll off for table master. I was automatic table master. This is my final, this is the test of fate. So I had to roll a D30. If, uh, and we started out, the starting table was the cryptic list. And whatever table or whatever quest was rolled was to be treated as a Twilight Scroll quest and done for a minimum of 30 days. So 30 days effort put into it. So which oh. which it, that, that's why if you see stuff on the Discord right now talking about theater of battle and people doing things, we're still in that that planning and doing thing. And there's something coming up that we'll talk about here in just a minute that will take place at the gathering of the Juggalos that has to do with this quest. So, um, but yeah, so I took a D30. Used all the inner circle members. They charged it. Seventeen of us charged it with karma to avoid the roll of a thirteen. Because if I would have rolled a thirteen, that would have been it. No table master, or no, not table master. No twilight lord at all for me. It's like the ultimate banishment. Right. Yeah. I had a one in thirty shot. But I also had a one in thirty shot of most epic of epicness happened if I would have rolled 30 I would have totally pooped in my pants <laughs> so, of all times of yeah. all times but but we did not roll the 30 so but we did roll I'm neutral and it was a 10 was a roll and then theater of battle was the was the was the roll so and before that quest we sat around we did the creative writing finale and everybody kind of read their creative writing so Right, right. Finalize yeah. that before we did this. And, uh-oh, sorry about that. I'm like, <laughs> you're seeing into infinity there. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> so, but, yeah, this was absolutely the best of times with the best of people. So yes. we, we ended up going down to main event for the grand finale. So, and theater of battle, I, I thought it would be fresh to play some uh, laser tag. So, uh, I treated everybody to laser tag. So, was was kind of fun. I've been I saved up a you know a little bit for this event, and I want to do something nice for the inner circle. And I was like, if it fits my budget, I'm doing it. And then as soon as we get through with that, we get some tactical training. Robert takes us on the like the little overhead rope course that's inside main event. Yeah, he pays for everybody to do that. <laughs> so. You know, of it was it was the most epic of epic having time, and everybody had a blast. Good, and, awesome. I, I, I was so glad that y'all wound up at a main event because I knew that a lot of a lot of fun shit could go down over there. Oh yeah, yeah. Which is kind of crazy because a lot of stuff from the Friday night event was kind of was kind of on that table, and some of the stuff from mm-hmm. the rainy day, you know, I also kind of put on that table that could have been done at main event. That's one of my ideas. Because I mean, it's kind of a cool place. Now it's kind of oh, a generic yeah. place because I think there's made events all over the United States, so it's not like it's unique. So true. But hey, we had a good time. Yeah. Shit was a blast. Um, with that final roll, that cemented me as the fourth uh, table master. Wait, the fourth what? Table master, <laughs> Twilight Lord. Sorry. There you go. Sorry, Twilight Lord. Twilight Lord. So there's four now. Four Twilight Lords. 
four. The first inductee outside of the original. Three. Yes, right there. Dun, dun, dun. So how about that? So it's still kind of surreal. It hasn't really like hit and kind of like really, really sunk in. Yeah, it hasn't yeah. Really sunk in. So. Uh, it will heck it will next time we play with uh 360 oh my god yeah monty hall baby the power <laughs> yeah, yeah i can use any power in any yeah. power so That's freaking insane. crazy so so it goes to show everybody out there that plays morton's list that plays 360 306 degrees of the inner circle that twilight lord is obtainable absolutely you know um and i can tell you what they're looking for in a twilight lord they're not looking for somebody that just plays the game and is a casual player. Yeah, just because uh, you document everything, they're looking for a ninja with tactics, with drive, mm -hmm. who will bring the yeah. inner circle together. Drive and motivation. For to sure. have phenomenal time. And it, kind of one of my tests overall was how well can I host an event? And I think I slayed it. I yeah. think I really did. I provided a destination location that was absolutely I, the blue people's minds because yeah. a lot of people oh. they, they <laughs> thought when we said secret <laughs> castle location there was a lot of people kind of skeptical and thought oh yeah this is going to be somebody's backyard yeah or it's, it's somebody's a house yeah, it's a bed something. and breakfast with a, a castle f fort playground in right it's a cardboard <laughs> castle or some crap yeah. out. <laughs> nah man it's legit we mm -hmm. had we had the the castle set up so um, definitely a good time there and you know just the uh, the flow of the events we kind of all worked together and kind of put it, it didn't have too much going on where you couldn't you felt like you were rushed all the time but mm -hmm. just enough just to get you through and it's a nice balance of you know questing and event questing and event so and and just fellowship and hanging out there definitely was no issues with transportation or, or getting anywhere for any it was everybody everybody did everyone looked a, out for everyone else in every way right and uh that's i think the magic of this event too was the, just the i mean it would have been awesome to have a hundred people there but i think you would have lost some of the magic mm-hmm the the real magic was the fact that there was less than 30 people at this event for me because you could really get to know each person on a very personal level and talk and discuss things and it felt like a family reunion we just haven't met each other yet right and, and i mean now we at, have and now we're a family yeah at the <laughs> end man when people were i mean we we shut pretty much shut down of the uh, main event and we stood outside the end and we we all held hands i gave everybody hugs and you know and we we closed it down everybody i mean if you would have looked over and saw you saying like what is this some weird you know bible church study? retreat yeah you know, some church retreat or something <laughs> if, if you only knew what it was actually going no, on no kidding yeah you know of uh, you know I, I was given the nickname cult daddy cult daddy cult daddy so <laughs> So there's a lot of there's a, it, which inspired me to somebody just called me Colt Day after the uh, during the coin ceremony yeah. and it freaking stuck so stuck hard. so and I went with it I was I love it I I absolutely <laughs> love that nickname so much that I've made my um, own Colt Daddy apparel clothing line no T-shirts yeah. oh yeah yeah so expect to see lots of T-shirts and little things like that and if you think. All right, the story behind that, if you think, oh, Brad's just trying to cash in, make some quick... No, this is what I'm doing with all that money. I'm using it for the next event that I'm going to host. Anything that I make off that, if you if you want to buy it, cool. You, nobody has to. If you want to, support it, cool. If not, that's fine, too. I don't care. Uh, but any money I'm going to make off of it, I'm putting it right back. I'm giving it right back to the inner circle, you know. I'm going to the next event or big thing that we go do is, you know, however money much money I make, I'm just going to throw that money on on that event and to yeah. making sure everybody has a good. I think it's a awesome mentality to have with the Morton's List type of events. If you mm -hmm. if you have if you're lucky enough to have have the the cash, then do something like that. Spread that karma around, mm -hmm. and I think that's another part what 
people were buying other people like dinners and lunches and yeah food and i mean it was all and it wasn't like oh you owe me it wasn't none of it was i mean it was all i want to do this for you because you're such an awesome person it was really you know i mean no hidden agenda it's just no love, it's, and love. sharing and, and, and yeah karma straight up karma. yeah so man i don't know i don't know what to say so 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 all those months all those many months of us hyping it up and, and with just a whole lot of it's just going to be fresh it'll be epic not being able to put into exact words of what's going to be so amazing about it that's what it was that's what that's it was. what it is so and we were hoping for it and it happened yeah it, yeah definitely i feel we delivered and i mean and just imagine how how things can be in the future if we can make this this inner circle grow right like yeah. like with that event holy crap imagine 120 people feeling That's, that vibe with each other holy shit well i mean and two maybe we can you know i, I don't know it, it just I don't, I don't know what to say i mean it's so <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't even know what to say just the next one's gonna be bigger better badder awesome kick-ass <laughs> um, yeah, it, if you can join us at the gathering of the juggalos, there's gonna be. Let's we, we need to talk about that. Holy shit! Uh, Damn, it's two twenty one. We haven't got to that yet. Let's see here. Bam! Gathering of the juggalos. Have you seen this yet? Unveiled. Morton's Morton revealed seminar. So, Jumpy's day. Yeah, yep. it's on Jump Steady Stay. So, and on Juggalo Day, bam, Morton's List Military Tactics Tournament. This is Juggalo Dream Day right here. This yeah. will be on Wednesday, probably in the evening. But, uh, yeah, show up in your camo stuff. Bring, we're going to run some military tactics. <laughs> I wonder where this inspiration came from. Mm, theater of Battle, maybe? So, yeah. Absolutely. Keeping it going. This is the best way to keep that quest going. Keep you thinking about it for the 30 days. Yep. You know, you're going to put way more than 30 days. You're going to put 60 days into this bad boy. So put together that Morton's bag. Yeah. Have your Morton's bag. Have your tactics. Uh, just watch out if you bring one of those little jail blaster guns. We will freak out if you blast on her. Uh, I got to somehow figure out how to get that under control. Well, you're just going to have to get some goggles, motherfucker. Uh, just get you some goggles. Uh, who the it. hell wants to walk around the gathering with goggles all day? No, not all day. Just for this event. Because this is where it would be acceptable for this to go down. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, anytime, if you're, you know, in the morning, somebody just walks. And the good thing is a lot of people are not blasting you in the face with those. Everybody's pretty damn respectable and shooting people. Yeah, but accidents can happen. I know, oh, but it, still. It just gives me so much PTSD. But still, people are fucking throwing mortars and popping off fireworks like crazy. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah, no. So. All right. Definitely don't want to catch a mortar to the face. Definitely not, because that would hurt the face. Mm-hmm. All righty. So, man, we've kind of went through that. We've went way over than what we normally do. Thank you for I sticking around would. with us. Yeah. Of uh, you know, um, holy shit, it's been fun reminiscing about the event, and can't wait to do another one. To have you know another Morton's List event soon in the futures. I just can't wait to see everybody again. That's me, man. I that just, is, <laughs> dude. You don't understand, uh-huh. man. That last night, it's man. I got so many new best friends, and I love them so much. And I mean, it's it was amazing, and I cannot wait. Hopefully, I see a lot of you guys at the gathering this year because it just make my make my day. Uh, if you can't, then definitely at the next event. I'd love to see you there. And each individual person that was there, pure magic. So, um, well, I guess we're going to end this bad boy, end this stream. Thank you for joining us. And if you're seeing this later, then, uh, you know, uh, it'll be on YouTube a little bit later. It takes it a while to get uploaded, but we will definitely do that. And uh, we'll catch you next time. And thank you much. Thank you for hosting such a fresh event. Congratulations on Twilight Lord Cult Daddy. Well, that's I love it. There you go. I love it. <laughs> that's so much fun. So, all right. 
We'll check y'all later. Peace out. Thank you for joining Love us. Love you guys. Epic Quest Ram Adventures. Remember last Sunday of the month, 1 p.m. always on time. Always. <laughs> I'll say that next month will be late. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. We'll talk to you.